Okay, so a quicker piece of news video here today. We're talking about a recent Red Wings acquisition that was acquired via waivers from the Anaheim Ducks. It's defenseman Christian DeJuice, and I always have had a difficult time pronouncing that name, so I apologize for anybody who is going to be upset about that. If I'm saying it right, please let me know in the comments, but... Christian Juice is indeed a 26-year-old left-handed defenseman, a guy who was formerly a Stanley Cup champion. Quite literally, this guy played with the Capitals, 22 games played in 2018 when they won the Cup, and he was a player who was sent over from Washington to the Anaheim Ducks system earlier last season. It was a one-for-one -one trade for Daniel Sprong, who was a pretty okay guy, and you could say there definitely is a chain to that idea, but we'll go over that a little bit later. But Juice spent his majority of 2019-20 in the AHL. A lot of people felt that was undeserved because this is a guy in many people's eyes that was legit NHL caliber. He had already played two full seasons up to that point and won the Stanley Cup in one of them, so it's not bad. When he was called up, he was playing pretty well, though. He was at 32 points in 42 Hershey Bears games, and then the trade to Anaheim occurred. He was then sent on waivers and picked off by the Red Wings. It appears that they just completely just like, boop, yep, it's ours. Because the Red Wings were last in the league last year, so they would have probably had first dibs on whoever goes through the waiver wire. And for Christian Juice, this is a pretty somewhat disappointing move for many Ducks fans that I've seen because when it comes to the Anaheim Blue Line, I think this comment on Reddit sums it up very nicely. The fact is you have yourselves one spot available between Larson, Gooley, Mahura, and Juice, and as a result, somebody was going to go on waivers. And a lot of Ducks fans were saying, okay, this is really bad because Juice was legitimately good. I mean, in the Anaheim system last season, he played a total of nine games. He had three points. He actually played a lot of minutes, definitely had a bigger role there because they had some injuries on the blue line. So he's a guy who's legitimately going to come in here and help out the Red Wings because they just picked him off of waivers. He's got one year left at $1 million, so there's certainly a lot of flexibility here with this kind of contract, but a lot of Red Wings fans on the other side have been asking the question, now that you have this guy in your system, what goes on with Dennis Chalowski? Because if you take a look at the Red Wings overall decor position, let's go over to the lines real quick and see what their projections are. They have themselves quite a few defensemen already there. A lot of these guys are new. Mark Stahl, John Merrill, Troy Stetcher, Nemeth's here, Kronik is here, DeKaiser is here as well. There wasn't even room for Dennis Chalowski on this decor as it stands on DailyFaceoff.com beforehand. Now you have Christian Juice too. So who knows if there's going to be an AHL down period for Dennis Chalowski going into next season or if he's a full-time taxi squad guy. I highly doubt that to be honest though because if you want to have a young guy like Chalowski developing to the best of his ability, especially at this age, I don't know if putting him in the taxi squad where he's not actually playing any games is going to be sufficient. So I would not be surprised if this means a Chalowski to Grand Rapids kind of move, and we see the Red Wings end up going with Juice as a press box bottom pairing guy because he was playing top pair minutes in Anaheim towards the end, so he's certainly capable of being an NHL player. It's just, you know, where do the Red Wings see him being used? As for the Ducks, though, you guys traded Pedersen for Sprong, Sprong for Juice, and then you lost juice on waivers for free and Marcus Pedersen's doing some very good things in Pittsburgh so uh yeah I don't know how you should feel about that that really does suck talk to me in the comments what you think about this acquisition here hope you enjoyed this with a show 9 and bye <laughs>